Hello oh guys, today I show you the guard pass from X curve. So I show you three things: the long step, circling the legs, and taking the backwards figure four. Let's get started. Alright, I'm in X curve position like this, I quote. So now I wanna do the guard pass. But before I do, I have to make sure that I'm making a good base and posture. Like escaping from the close guard. If I don't make a good base and posture, I will get attacked. Especially this position, right? If I don't make a pass, he can easily push me to the side. See? Then I will swept. Or even though I you know, stay in the position, whenever he can uh, grab my ankle on this side, I will swept. The double ankle pick. So that's why I gotta make a good base and posture. That's the first step before I do the guard pass. Uh, basically, I wanna keep my weight on my right leg. This. You see? So this is the first thing I have to do. As I do so, he cannot push me to the side for taking a stand up. Can I just try that? You see, it's a bit difficult. In order for him to switch to taking a stand up, he needs to shift my booty weight on this leg. Sweep this. Then he can sweep me. So first, right? Whenever you make any type of base, you want to shift the body weight on this side. That's the first thing. Okay? If that is difficult for you to shift it, you can even grab the color here and then pull it. Then you make a good base and a posture. This is the first step. Then the gun pass, the first one, I want to show you a really simple movement. Sometimes he may open his knees when he makes X curve like this. See? So in this case, you can see white space is opening between his knees, right? So from now I just want to escape. Okay? By the time we win, I place down his knee on this side. I make his face more. And then, from now, I'm going to swing my left leg, like inside spin. So in order for me to do this movement, I have to shift my body weight to the right side, completely. See, here. As soon as I shift my body weight to the side, I raise my left leg up. See? And then, next thing I'm going to swing my left leg. See, here. Okay? One more time. This position. I cannot raise my left leg up. I need to shift the body weight, like I said at the beginning of the technique. Then I push his knee. By the time I push his knee, I make this here. So as if I pull my heel around this position, this, see? And then I can unlock the X curve, see? Right after I unlock the X curve, now I gotta pin him on side control. This is a battle, right? So what I like to do is hug his hips. It's both of my hands. See the far side? I get my arm on this side. See, near side. I want to slide my arm here. You see, between his thigh and torso. This position. And then from this position, as if I approach into the reverse kesa or no south. See, like a chest to belly. This. See? Then, after I like this, I want to do this throw. I want to get my legs away from him. That's why from here, I slide this throw. Then, this is the position I stabilize him after the guard pass. Okay, one more time, I'm in this position, okay? I already shift the body on my right leg, see? Then he opens his leg a little bit like this. So this time, I have a chance to escape from this position. I push his knee like this, see? So this time, I don't even need to grab the material. I just want to use my palm to push, to open his knees, okay? As soon as I open his knees, I shift my body to the side, and then I swing my leg here. See? That's another curve. I have his hips. This position, okay? In this technique, I can unlikely make the chest chest position. You see? As he already has my right leg, there's gonna be a gap if I try to make chest chest. You see here? Then he's able to get his leg in. See? That's why I like to make chest to belly. This, see? He may keep on holding my leg, but it's okay. I can do scroll, and then I stabilize the position. All right, the second technique, high long step. That's one of the major techniques from this position, the long step to the guard pass. But first, you need to understand the shape of the X curve, see? As I use both of feet on my thigh, see? He can control my leg. I cannot easily take a step forward. If I try to do, he blocks it with his left hand. And then if I try to take a step back, he blocks it, right, with his 
right leg. Then, you see, it's pretty good control. So in this case, you see, I cannot take a step back and forth, but I should be able to take a step like her, raising my leg up, this, this type of direction. This is a high long step, okay? When I time my movement, I make grips first, you see? I grab the pants on this side with my left hand. That is on the edge, not rising, okay? So here, I want to go up, okay? Then when I time this long step, I gotta shift my ball away to my right leg all the way. Even I bend my right knee here, see? I put my shin on his chest, this position, okay? As soon as I shift my body weight on this side, see, I automatically look at the other side. And then I can pull my knee up as if I point my knee towards my shoulder. And then I can unlock the X. So from this position, I twist my knee and then look this, see? And then from this position, right? I just want to take a step back all the way. That comes over his head here, see? I completely get up on the X card. Now, from this position, I have to pin him. That's the battle, right? I want to pin him, then he wants to recover the position. So that's why I got to take an advantage. So it's the same as the last technique. I want to do some kind of losses approach. But this position, I want to make the double hip control. So I use both of my hands to hug his hips like this. Once I make chest to hip, I do scroll, and then I stabilize the position. Okay, this is a variation, the high long step. Sometimes I may not be able to shift my body all the way to the other side, right? So that case, I even post my hand to make more balance. See, I'm gonna post my hand here. See, as I post my hand, I have better balance. Then, as I post hand on the mat like this, it's much easier for me to make stand good balance, okay? Then, like the last one, I put my shoe on his belly, and then I gotta look at the other side all the way in order for me to raise my leg up. If I look down or look here right side, I cannot raise my left leg up. See, I pause my hand on that, then I look at the other side and then I can raise my knee up. High long step. This, see, this, okay? Then this is another variation to pin him. I wanna, so I wanna approach the north south. See from this? I hug the hips from the near side, and then, first side, instead of hugging his hips, I want to hug his shoulder, this, and then, I stay in the position. Oh, okay, and the next one, this is a kind of variation, the back take with twister hug, okay? Of course, when I have a chance, I want to try the last two technique to escape from this position. Like a second leg or a long step. But this time, it may be difficult to do, or if I have room, I switch to the back kick. Okay? First, I want to make the grip on the pants here. This is the same as the first technique I showed. Okay? Then, in order for me to do the back kick, I want to make space around his knee. And that's why I intentionally open my legs like this. You see? Here. He doesn't want to let go of grip. Uh, he doesn't want to let go of behind my knee. Even though I take a step forward like this, see, he wants to chase my knee. So this is his reaction. In this case, as you can see, there's a space around his hips. That's a space you can shoot into it. Okay, not from this position. You cannot find a space at all. You slowly make wide stance here. See, as soon as you make the space. You're going to roll with your right shoulder. It's like a front roll, okay? I roll forward. Then I come to this position. Okay, this position, you see? I'm kind of standing up to bending ball position. But as it locks my left leg with both of the legs, I'm a bit difficult to do something. So I gotta raise my left leg first. So this, you see? I'm going to pull my leg on this side. So with the grip, here. I've unlocked it. See? And then from this position, I want to make a control on his right leg. That's the most important thing in this technique. So that's why I use the pants grip. I just want to punch his leg. See? This. See? I slightly make space here, behind me. Can you see this? As soon as I make space, I slide my left shin behind his right knee. This. 
see? And setting up kind of like reverse bending ball position, okay? He still holds my right leg, but which is not a big problem from this position, okay? Once I set up, I push his knee with my shin, and then I pull my right leg, this. See? Yeah, this is like pinching my knees together to control his thigh. Then I already set up twist the hook position. Okay, from this position, I swing my right leg to make the twist the hook. Like I showed in other video from this position, I kick my own heel to reinforce the position instead of making a hook around here. Here, this is the way I reinforce the frame. Okay, after I go like this, I kick my own heel forward to get him sideways. Then you're getting close to his far side shoulder. I cut his shoulder, I pull it towards me, and then I take the back. See, before I do it, I take a step farther. You see, there's a lot of space. And then, at the beginning of the rolling, I'm not gonna grab his belt or hips. First, I roll forward. See, as soon as I fall on the floor with my shoulder, I start hugging his hips. Okay? One, and two. This is an order. Okay, I'm in this position. I want to break down how to make twist hook step by step. First, I have to release my leg, left leg. See? So I already got a hip on this side from the beginning. So I just slightly push his leg and then I open. Then I unlock his X hook. Okay, next, I gotta make a hook behind his line knee. See, that's the most important part in this technique. Then how this part as well. So in order for me to do this, first, I punch his Pants grip. Here, you see? There's a little gap between my belly and his knee. That's the space I slide my left knee in here. See? This. So I'm starting to set up a twist up position. Next, I gotta adjust the angle. Here's not good angle for me to set up twist the hook. So that's why from now, I push his knee with my shin and then I slide the reverse hip escape, okay? this and then I unlock his holding right even though he holds my uh that should open your shoulder but like uh, even from the x guard position as I push behind his knee I can easily unlock it see and then from this position see I circle my legs you see right leg comes over his knee and then I self twist the hook see then in order for me to reinforce the frame I kick my own heel like this so from this position, I'm going to reach the near side of the shoulder. See, I started coming to cup his shoulder with under hook here. I point towards me to get a seat belt. Then, lastly, I push his hips with my inner thigh to adjust the angle. And then, I take the back. 